Mike O'Mara, Radio Entertainment. Before we begin the show, a quick reminder to please take our survey. Just visit MikeOmeraShow.com and click the banner that says Survey. It only takes a few moments. It's anonymous. So your info is safe. And it helps us out a lot. Thank you. And now, the show. Available on demand every day in iTunes and the Google Play Store and around the world on MikeOmeraShow.com. What more can we do for you? It's the Mike O'Mara Show. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Robbie. <laughs> Happy birthday. Oh. Happy <laughs> birthday to you. Yeah, yeah, Marilyn. I wouldn't. I'd be lying if I didn't say it didn't move. It's uh, <laughs> very sexy. What did Oscar get you, Robbie? Oscar, he went the utilitarian and most appreciated route. A massively funded, but very very gay looking Starbucks gift card. Yes. The most wow. feminine Starbucks card they offer. Yeah, Do you it know is why a I bursting like with ask. chrysanthemums. Do you know why I like to ask, Robbie? Yeah, because you want to you want to one up him. I know. I always like to know where that bar is. <laughs> bar. Oh, oh gotcha, gotcha. No, seriously, did you get my gift? I, it should have arrived yesterday morning. No, actually. it did not. It said here it did. Really? Yeah, it says your gift should have arrived yesterday morning. I oh, did wow. not see it. Did, did you, you send it to his house? Or did you send it <laughs> yeah. to the... Uh... Oh, okay. Yeah, I did. It was it's expensive. Oh, really? Nice. Oh, yes. I have to look very mm. carefully for it. Maybe I, didn't, maybe I didn't go in the front door and I missed it. You know, right, sometimes you know they hide it under the, the welcome mat. Just tell mat. them what yeah. it is. Yeah. You want... No, I don't want to give it away because that spoils the surprise. You don't want to spoil the surprise now, do you? Everybody loves I don't want to spoil the surprise. Let right. me see if I've got a sound effect that could communicate that. Hold on just a second. All right. Uh, Searching. All right, here we go. Here we go. Yes. Ooh. Oh, something for the bedroom. Yeah. Pony. It's a hair dryer. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, Mike, I have no hair. It's a hair dryer. Yeah. No, I really, you know, uh, to be honest with you, we just had Christmas. I understand. <laughs> I understand. Really? I mean, you know. Hey, no, that was, am, you know I, what? You're right. And that's another great guy's birthday. Yes. <laughs> He's not as great as you. No, no, no. It's very close. His not AC needed coolant. That's true. <laughs> what are the SPIWAC plans for the... Uh, and incidentally, I think everybody wants to know. Uh, they're, they're the passionate people out there that, uh, that know. But uh, how old are you? Can you believe I'm 45? 45? Yes. Oh, my God. I, I swear you're 48. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, Rob. I'm one of the Mike O'Mara Show's biggest fans, and I want to say happy birthday from Dirk. That's your uh, new Dirk voice? That's my that's my Dirk voice, and that's his card, and, I, and it's got a picture. You're young happy still. birthday, Rob. Well, Dirk, for, for, Dirk is the greatest. Dirk is the best. A 45 yeah. is pretty old. It's not bad. Uh, tell me how you feel when you turn 45. I really thought you were 48. Well, I'm that's like, you're going to be 50 soon. That's sweet of you. Well, if I make it, I'll be there. Hey, Rob. Yes, <laughs> Rob, do you need any dentists? <laughs> oh, these I'm, are you know, I'm listeners. already doing my Vistaprint. I'm doing my Vistaprint commercial too early, but I love it when you send me the And you know I sent you a couple more yesterday. From the different people. Sent you some like more yesterday. Day. You go to the yes. mail and you'll get your cards. Yeah, I turned well, good. 45. We're doing a Vistaprint Mike. commercial today and I'm glad we got them, but uh, <laughs> Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Dirk, how you been? Dirk's the man. I love Dirk. I truly love Dirk. As Dirk's a matter a of guy. fact, uh, my birthday plans are uh, partially funded by Mr. Vastrick because oh, really? he sent me a, a, a gift certificate to the Peking Gourmet Inn. Oh, isn't where that oh, what, a, what a wonderful, oh. nice guy. There, He's the really best. Wonderful, nice he is guy. the best. So we'll be headed there Saturday. But uh, tonight... God, he's generous. He's one of our most generous he listeners. Is. And of course, let me explain the way the Mike O'Mara show works, especially me and uh, Rob and Oscar. 
You send us something, we'll take it. Absolutely. That's yeah. it. That's the way that works. Absolutely. Send it along, we'll, we'll take it. We are we are takers of the first order, and we will uh, take it. So you're, you're going to the – so is that you're going to be your big birthday outing? That's the is birthday that outing, but tonight the uh, Supper Club participants are coming over for uh, oh. dessert and a few drinks. And, Did uh, Mrs. Spiewak get you a gift? Mrs. Spiewak has something for me, but I will get it tonight. Because oh. we, don't, we don't do Did gifts the, in the morning. Did the kid? So the kids didn't get you. Your, you haven't opened your kids. Actually, gifts Robert did something that was totally unexpected and extraordinarily sweet. Yesterday, he took his own money and he walked to Target, which is a pretty good hike from our house. Wow! Picked out, got me a card and a bag of licorice, which he knows oh, I love black sweet. licorice. See, and that's he, good. He brought that's it down good. to me this morning, and uh, Julia. We'll lower the bar for her. She did remember to wish me happy birthday without being prompted or anything. That's no nice. gift, no card. That's a nice but, thing. you know, and then and Carrie said it first thing to me before she even got out of bed. And it's nice to be recognized by your family than have them remember that it's your birthday. That's Better sweet. to be recognized you by love your, your peers. Birthday. I do like my birthday. You know what? And really what has changed it, and I will, I will say this with all honesty, when you open up Facebook and you are deluged with greetings, it feels pretty good. Oh, yeah, you but put in the time. The, yeah, but you put in the time, but yeah. you have to really, and I don't want to, have a boss far birthday. be it for me mm-hmm. to, to, to pour water on your birthday. I don't want to do that, but mm. you realize that the Facebook <laughs> thing is the, I mean, it's the land of the lazy. It's the laziest way of anyone to. Yeah, but it, fills, it to, fills his cup. It does, no. Mike, and and 5,000 <laughs> little, little, little traces of effort make up for a. It's like getting oh. ten really good birthday greetings. So it's it's nice. I love how it. Many, I think it's how fun. many did you get? Did you, did you oh, count thousands? Them up? I imagine. Oh, thousands, I haven't. Right? I, I think it was in the hundreds. Can you this count morning. them up? Can you add them up maybe and let us know tomorrow? Can you Absolutely. can you add them up and yeah. maybe count? I mean, uh, yeah, that'd agent? be a, a fun activity. What else do you have to do? That'd I'll be count fun, them up during you know? the show. He will count them up during the show or something. Oh, that's uh, <laughs> see. Don't mock the boy for helping you out. I'm not. Diego's helping you out there. I'm not. Just when he gets excited, sometimes the Pedro yeah. voice creeps in. <laughs> count the birthdays, count and then up. and then I will have. We'll make it a competition, and I'll see if I can get more on June 22nd when I celebrate my birthday, and you don't get me a gift like I didn't get you. a gift. Oh no! You know what? Now I will definitely get you a gift because yeah. now the revenge. No. My, no. my yeah. revenge plan, will be sweeter. I plan on bringing you your both birthdays in March, and I happen to know that. And that to me, you know what I call that? What? When? I call that progress. Um, and but the so, fact that you know the month? That I know that they're both in March. I think that that's progress. He's baby-stepping. Yeah. Baby step. You know, sure. by the way, excuse me. I mean, with the you know with the world I've been doing here, you know, I'm buying air conditioning systems down here, mm-hmm. okay? Yeah. Uh, something's got to hey, give. you know what I'd when like for I my come, birthday? Something's got to give. It's my friends. Something's got to give. So that's How about right. this, Absolutely. Mike? For my birthday, can you draw up a paper that has me... 10% owner of your air conditioner. Now, I will never, like, come down and claim it. It'll be like an honorary thing. Like, when they used to sell shares like to the colonel. Ringling Brothers. Yes! Mm-hmm. Like my colonelship. Let me, let me be 10% owner Listen. of your air conditioner. Not only am I going to do that, but, <laughs> yes. uh... <laughs> you know, you got it. Yeah. Or, right, right. how about, and if I made a small plaque... Would you put it on the air conditioner? Oh, that's even better. The Not, stick I, alone is priceless. I don't want it on the thermostat. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to like, you know. What is the day? Seventh, right? <laughs> exactly, yes. Mike, except it's the eighth. Oh, okay, all right. All right sorry. <laughs> Every this year. This is the time of year where he forgets the days. Yeah, well, they all bleed into one another. Yes. It's, it's all the day quilt. <laughs> <laughs> He's busily writing oh something. Oh, my God. Down. He's writing a contract. He is writing a contract. Mm-hmm. I have to initial here. Do you have a typewriter or a ticker tape machine? I don't I have it. I don't have a ticker tape machine. Yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> because I want to know how GE is doing in 1936. Yeah. <laughs> I'm doing my, I'm making my living. We're on the air. We actually started early. You don't just lean in. I'm doing my job here. Who are you talking to? Yeah. Who are you talking to? Oh, hi, Carl. Hey, Carl. Hey, Stop Carl. by anytime. Talk, talk to them. Talk to them. Oh, okay. you, you look beautiful. Yeah. Congratulations, Oscar. Thank you. Thank you so much. Congratulations. And I've been meaning to send a card. I just haven't found the right one yet. No We worries. got our uh, St. Patrick's card uh, with you. uh, your beautiful son on it yesterday. Thank you for awesome. sending yes. that. I'm happy that you received it. It my took a while fr- to get to you, huh? If you, looked my, if you looked at my fridge, it looks like little Michael is actually... Like our child. Well, what I, do, <laughs> I don't believe you, Oscar. Hand I to God. A picture. He's I have all saved, over it. I have saved all the cards that you've sent of Michael as he's grown up, and I've made a flip book. So actually, as you flip through them, he ages. <laughs> he's, he's all over That's my fridge. Keep idea. sending them, Carla. They're, yeah, beautiful. they're beautiful. Okay, look, guys, I need to talk to you about something. Yes. Yeah. I am bored. Don't don't, don't uh, like tip anything in the show that I prepare. Okay. I, I, <laughs> no, I this lay, is new. This is new. Lay, you don't even know this. I, 
Uh-oh. <laughs> no. Oh, wow. This is going well. Yeah, pipe down, Mike. Mm. Yeah, Mike. No, I was just listening. I think I was just listening to Wednesday's show. I'm a little behind. Yes. yes. But anyway, it was about um, Mike not fitting in, like being a square <laughs> in a circle or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, so no, I just like him square. being a square like it's 1958. Yeah. Mike, yeah. you're such a square. So they can see He's a square you. in a round anyway. peg. Yes. No, square peg in a round anyway, hole. Anyway, I am <laughs> so bored. You're bored? You're bored? I am so bored. Why don't you guys take a road trip? Come on up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We need to do something. Yeah. Because, yeah. Get out of Dodge. I, I just feel like doing something, I don't know, reckless maybe? Hey, yeah. Maybe for Mike's birthday, I'll send him a deck of cards, and you can mm-hmm. learn how to play some card games. Good way to pass the time. Why don't you guys come to here. D.C.? Thanks. Thanks a lot. Bye. Maybe we go to Key was, West together. Helpful. Let's move the show helpful. to Key West. Like, yeah, bring the show to Key. We'll do the show in Key West. No. We'll, we'll, we're going to hit the road soon. We're going to get out of here. Yeah. And something's going something's to get yeah. hit soon. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> let, me, let me just uh, check. When, when, the spinal surgeon, when the spinal surgeon gets back to me, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll keep you posted. Okay. Hey, Mike, why don't you have your spinal mm-hmm. surgery in a destiny? <laughs> oh, bad back. Oh, nice kiss. <laughs> big smooch. Mike? She Thank came you. back with a big smooch. You, there really is a win-win here. Why don't you have your spinal surgery in a destination city? Like, yes, like Mike. Surgery. Yeah, like New Orleans. Yes, you can have your back Another fixed one in New Orleans. I'm added to my list of effing disappointments. <laughs> <laughs> it's Mike O'Mara's Jesus. new Las Vegas back. <laughs> All right, be it known that on this eighth day of March in the year of our Lord 2016, Rob Spiewak has been granted a 10 percent interest. <laughs> You'll know that I wasn't, just, I wasn't just BSing my way around. Mm. I'm going to do it in a cartoon size. Font. Yeah, but don't use a cartoon font. It has to be something stately, like oh, Times Roman. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, something in, new. Helvetica. That, something with maybe. serifs. Helvetica oh. is actually... <laughs> might That might work. Yeah. Yeah. Or some yeah, people yeah, say Helvetica. Like Helvetica. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you li- what do you like for your font here? Uh, 12, 12, Comic 12, point, 12 point. Not Comic Sans. Then you look like you're a dummy. Uh, right. yeah, this is serious. This is a Times Roman mm-hmm. moment. <laughs> <All right. laughs> And Times you can quote Roman me. Moment. It's a time. How about Apple Chancery? What is that? I'll show it to you. Uh, wing dings. Right now. <laughs> Not wing dings. Then he can't read it. Then it's like yeah. secret code. What a great Triangles gift. Crap. What a great gift I'm giving him. So glad I thought of it's it. It's very generous. I mean, that's fantastic. Well, mm-hmm. you know, sometimes the best gifts. Don't you wish we could all think of our, our own gifts? Yeah. Yes, I agree. Yeah. I agree. Well, we we'll portion off our own property. Now all I have right. to do is the small plaque. That says the Rob Spiewak Memorial Air Conditioner. You know it would be mm-hmm. hilarious. Hold on, let me wait for my printer from <laughs> Hewlett Packer. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, you uh, you could do this when yeah. he goes to sell the home. Uh-huh. They'll have that AC um, covenant. Yes, where mm-hmm. they have to come to you and find you, so you have to sign off on the ten percent before the AC can be completely theirs. That's a beautiful thing, Mike. Put Let's that right in the down. <laughs> that on this eighth day of March in the year of our Lord twenty sixteen. Keep reading. Rob Spiewak has been granted a 10% interest in the brand new air conditioning system for the Omera residence in Fort Myers. Signed. Well, then you have to sign it. Or do you want me to sign it? Because no. I usually do your Sign signing anyway. Mike O'Mara, head cheese. Yeah. And who doesn't Isn't love cheese? Isn't Carla a notary public? I think She's she bored, Oscar. Ah. She's bored. <laughs> she wants Bobby Cannavale is what she wants. Stop I understand it. that. Mm. I'm a broken down fragment of my former self. I've got the head cold. I've got the diverticulitis. I've got the bad hip. I now have thrown my back out again. I was looking at spinal surgeons today. I am a hot mess. I can't even go outside and throw a golf ball out there anymore. But other than that... Other than that, life is fantastic. Yeah, things are looking up. Awesome. <laughs> My mo is back it's the home. Mike O'Mara Show. <laughs> you listen to the Mike O'Mara Show at www.mikeomarashow.com. Stay tuned to an outstanding three. entertainment program. It's the <laughs> Mike O'Mara Show. Let's get down to business. From the entertainment capital of the world. Suspect your husband's having an affair? Worried your wife may leave you? Concerned your daughter may have run away with gypsies? Then put your fears to rest with the Butterfield Detective Agency. With my array of disguises, I can blend seamlessly into almost any environment. Firefighter, holidaymaker, infant, explorer, fitness instructor, 
American, Christmas man, and that's not all, sailor, croupier, Lord Mayor's croupier, pyramid worker, theatrical ghost, Central American, male air hostess, and that's still not all, gay man, Australian, tea lady, comedian, office worker, carpet salesman, that's all. So call the Butterfield Detective Agency now, and I promise I will try my absolute hardest to bring your loved ones back to you, dead or alive. It's the Mike O'Mara Show. Mike O'Mara, Rob Spiewak, Oscar Santana. And now, from his easy chair, here's Mike. Coming to you live from the Cappy Fiber Studios inside the heart of our nation's capital, Washington, D.C., this is the Mike O'Mara Show on the air and online worldwide. The Mike O'Mara Show, a daily radio show and podcast with the greatest listeners on the planet because they get it. And if you're here, you do, too. Our show today brought to you by the Ring Doorbell System. The Ring Doorbell System is truly something that has uh, been so much fun for the O'Maras. We love that. And uh, by the way, do you hear that, ladies and gentlemen? Yes. That's the sound of visitors. Or maybe a package of delivery. Or maybe the sound of someone planning to rob you blind. That's right. Turn the music down. I'm doing shtick here. Ninety-five percent of home break-ins happen during. You know, it's tough to do. You know, to do this. Well, it's like. Build me up, buttercup. You know, it's your birthday. I don't. You don't need to think about the board today. Anyway, the uh, the sound of someone planning to rob you blind. A lot of these home burglaries happen. But they just come to your door. Yep. They ring the bell. If you're not home, they get to work. Ninety five percent of home break-ins happen that way. With the Ring Video Doorbell, the one that I have on my front door, you can see and talk to anyone at your door from anywhere in the world. Now, not only do we use it for touching, wonderful, uh, lovey greetings from my wife and son when they come to the doorbell and ring it just to say hi to me when I'm out and about, but uh, you really, really use it for a home security device. If someone doesn't ring your doorbell, rings advanced motion detection, alerts you, and it's like caller ID for the front door. You see who's there. I see what packages are being delivered. I see if there's somebody that shouldn't be at the front door that is. And installing the Ring Video Doorbell, all I need to tell you is I did it. Okay, <laughs> you can hardwire it to the electrical system, or you can do what I do. You put the batteries in it, and you just stick it up uh, next to the door, and that's it. It is so easy. Put your mind at ease and protect your home with the Ring Video Doorbell. It's named a top 10 gadget by both Time Magazine and USA Today. Our listeners get free expedited FedEx shipping when they go to ring.com slash TMOS. Remember, ring.com slash TMOS. With the Ring Video Doorbell, you are always at home. So go to ring.com slash TMOS and rest easy, my friend. Yes, Rob Spiewak. You know what's really cool about Ring? They have their own YouTube page, and Ooh. people submit some of the funniest videos from their Ring doorbell. And I've found a couple that are really great and linked on our YouTube page. So make Very sure cool. you check them awesome. out. It's really because it's not just all security. Sometimes it's some really funny stuff. Good videos to check out. Look at it. That is, uh, that is wonderful. Uh, I will tell you that uh, it is another day in uh, sunny South Florida and uh, glad that you guys are getting a little of the uh, decent weather coming your way uh, back east. I'm happy about that. And uh, I do plan on uh, bringing a satchel full of goodies for both of you uh, for engagements and birthdays. Oh, you, you don't need to do that. You know, know that. But because really, it's such a hassle to go to Amazon and click on it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> It's not. It's 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 quite easy. It's quite easy. But uh, can I be honest with you, Rob? I was quite shocked after the disaster that was your last gift, and uh, you know it was both the one you gave me and the one I gave you. But don't you, you think that it canceled minimal, out? Both of us. Let's be honest. Both of us putting the minimal amount of intellectual. You don't give a shit about me getting a gift, <laughs> and I don't give a shit about you getting a gift. Rob, you don't. You don't, and I don't. So I mean, it's like, why are we? You know, there's one person. Thank God who maintains, and look, there, there's a lot I dislike about him, but there's a lot I like about him. And Oscar is kind of a thoughtful gift giver. He now, is. I gave you the Starbucks. Even though it was not one of his A-list, like Alexa kind of gifts, it was a gift that you truly use every single Very day. Very generous right? and wonderful. But you see, Mike, the thing is, is that gift that I gave you for Christmas is, and I'm only going to do this one little defense of it. Okay. 
if it had been for your model of phone, you would have loved it. And I just got your model of phone wrong. You were a, a five, and it was yeah. for a six. Because no Carly, no Carly I'd loves love it, I'd love to agree, right? and I'd love to not know she doesn't. No. She doesn't love it? No, it, it broke. It was a, Well, she's careless. No, it's not because she was careless. <laughs> Carla! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Baby's at preschool, so I can do There's, that. Oh, you, right. can, you can do that. Carla! Carla! <laughs> what happened to the uh, phone charger thing that Rob gave me for that you ended up using because it was not for my phone what it broke well, oh, how, how did it break oh. rob said you were careless i oh. it was a joke <laughs> burn come on in come on in come on in yeah. how come dare you rob in. it was a joke <laughs> <laughs> how, how did it break what was the flaw the the string the the cord broke the lanyard oh yeah, yeah. hey That'll wait happen. you know what i have a gift for you actually i have a gift for you rob speed record yeah get another one this i'm using it as a prop get another one get another yes. one Get another one. Here we go. Okay, ready? Yes. This is going to be fun. Yeah. I'm using the video today because I love the connectivity. It's okay. Hey, Don't yeah. get happy. Right. HD, baby. It's a Florida greeting from Mr. Florida Grapefruit. <laughs> that actually looks so Hi, good. Hi, Rob. <laughs> that does. Hi, Rob. Doesn't it look Yummy. sexual in a way? Yeah. yeah. It does. Yeah. Mike's Rob, you can showing us the grapefruit Like, stick your finger in there. See no, what happens. don't. Don't do it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, that's... yeah you show it what's <laughs> what, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 You know what that is? That's a pink grapefruit. Which, which can I eat this during the show? Seed? Yeah. I eat it. You don't want it now. You don't want it now with my cooties on it. Finger okay. cooties. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Have a nice grapefruit. afternoon. Don't get too bored. <laughs> yeah. Now, how there can she are. be bored after you did the grapefruit show? Yeah. 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 The grapefruit show. The grapefruit show. <laughs> Looks like an anus. The grapefruit show. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Mike O'Mara for the Florida Citrus Board. Hi there. Big citrus. Yes, sir. Uh-uh. Do you know I'm not just for eating? I'm No, I'm sorry. That's terrible. I, I'm goofy. I'm goofy. I'm all, I'm all NyQuil and DayQuil up. Uh, I'm punch drunk. I, I'm on the, uh, the, the NyQuil, DayQuil like regimen i i'm living on that stuff that's that's my that's my drug of choice that's now the dayquil is almost like speed doesn't it have some sort of accelerant no in it? i i think it really does it, it the it's the decongestant factor i don't because i don't get all hopped up on all it. right all right but you get I, loopy. Got, but i'm on my third loopy. tea i'm on my third hot tea <laughs> 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 now you but you are doing you're doing nyquil at night right oh, he, oh there you go yeah <laughs> oh, yes. and now with his broadway show great moments from the godfather Here's Mike O'Mara <laughs> as Vito Corleone as he has put a grapefruit wedge in his mouth. Uh, my grandson's running in the tomato patch. I'm going to die right now. I'm going to die. I'm going to drop dead and die. That's the way it's going to go. Hey, uh, update on uh, my mom. Did I give you an update yesterday? You you mentioned it briefly. Yes. Mentioned she, it briefly. She's, my mom is back out of the emergency room in the uh, defying death once again. Uh, the 95-year-old woman as my sister uh, my sister with her sensitive text to me. I yeah, I do believe the text came at Opera Show. Yes. And, and we talked about it after the show. After the show. And, now, uh, my sister is the primary caretaker up there. She's living this every single day. And my sister, as you have met my sister, tougher than I am, actually. Quite, quite, quite a bit tougher. Yes. She, she knows how to deal with it, and she's absolutely been a phenomenal caretaker for my mom. Okay. Uh, but I, I qualify that simply because it is a bit of uh, an ordeal when you are in, out, in, out, in, out, doctors, 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 doctors. Then finally, after a lengthy stay in the nursing facility at her assisted living facility, she moves back to her apartment, and then two days later, she passes out at the dinner table and uh, rushed to the ER <laughs> My sister, I, it's a I believe, reached critical mass. So uh, here is the, uh, this is yesterday morning at 11.46, uh, you know, right around the time we were wrapping up the show. Yep. Uh, this is the text that uh, that I get. The happy, joyous text that they were releasing my mother from the hospital and she was returning to her apartment. This is the text. All right. From Kathy. Feisty as hell this morning, being discharged back to her apartment. Go figure. Wow, <laughs> that's uh, that's <laughs> that's well, no, this is just back and forth. Here it is, and I'm gonna say this because I don't think it's cruel to say it, and I think that it's also uh, the reality that okay. uh, both my sister and I and my mom enjoy together. Yes, this woman is 95 years old. Mm-hmm. She has lived a wonderful, good life. The uh, days of being poked and prodded. And spoken to about procedure A, procedure B. It's gone. She's not doing it anymore. She doesn't want to do it anymore. She wants to uh, live her life and uh, let the chips fall. And we have total agreement with her about that. 
And so, you know, much like uh, if, I, if I was a heroin addict and I'd kicked that horrible drug, yep. you live it one day at a time. That's the reality of this. She spoke to a wonderful cardiologist who said, listen, the risk factor of a, for a woman at your age to get in there and do all this and that and this. So uh, I will cherish every, uh, you know, conversation that I have with my mom. I will say a prayer every day that uh, when I swing back up through New England, I'm going to be able to uh, see her again. I uh, might do a flight up there again uh, before, but she seems to be doing okay. So that's the reality. And the good news is she is back in her apartment. That is good. The, con- the conversation I have, when you realize they're really 95, is we're beginning to uh, have a conversation about her health. And she says, I feel fine. I just, uh, you know, the I got it got a little dizzy, and they think it might be a cardiac thing, but they're not sure. And so they, they're going to send me back, and I, I think I'm going to be fine. And, oh, honey, I have to go. I said, oh, oh really, what happened? Are, are they coming in to do some tests? No, breakfast is here. Bye-bye. <laughs> and, uh, and food was, is uh, a that, dominant, that was, a dominant yeah, thing. Yeah, and they've got her on medication to let her eat and enjoy food. So that's, uh, that's where we are, and that's the reality of having an elderly parent. And uh, the good news is, like, every stage of this, this uh, ordeal, it's not an ordeal, it's reality. It's everybody deals right. with it. We've all been on the same page, and I'm extraordinarily lucky that we are on the same page uh, regarding her care, and that includes her because she's yeah. got all her buttons, and so that's uh, that's the lady of Kathy. Go figure. Go figure. Let yeah, me offer it's this, Mike. Probably Mike. tough, and uh, you know, it's tough for you, but it's great that Kathy's there. But she's got to deal with this day in day out. Yeah, you know? and Kathy is. Uh, you know, Trooper. I mean, it, I'm look. Really, I know. I'm the guy. I'm her. Yeah. Yeah. You know family. what that is. Yeah. You yeah. know what that is, yeah. and that is, uh, you know, and I hope that uh, your siblings, Oscar. Uh, you know, I'll give I'll give myself a pat on the back. I hope your siblings communicate to you the their level of appreciation that you're the guy that runs point for your mom in D.C. Because uh, I let my sister know that as often as I can. They do. I think that's they important. Do. They absolutely do. So that said, that's and, that's where we are with that. And and really through all the uh, you know my issues that uh, that that's the I realize what what really knocks me down. It's not connectivity with the show. It's not uh, getting a cold or having a back issue or anything like that. What it is is uh, a loved one being sick, and that's that's more of a priority mm-hmm. to me than anything else. And that got me kind of threw me for a loop over the weekend. But now she's back in her apartment. Uh, chowing down, hopefully having her breakfast as we speak. May That's I good. offer a, an encouraging thought? Sure. Is that I've, I do not have elderly parents, but I've been through the passing of my grandparents, and I was very close to them, so there is a parallel there. Lost one to dementia and lost one to heart issues. And yep. it is so much easier to lose one when they still are mentally with you for the whole ride because yep. you can talk to them and let them know that you're there. Yep. And uh, in you know, in all this... Uh, it's, it's a tough road, no doubt, but you're blessed that you can still call and talk to Didn't her. Didn't you play one of the uh, goodbye speeches in the, in your audio vault yesterday? <laughs> Let's see. If we were there, I would write down Jerry Lewis and I would hand it across oh, to no. you. Yeah. I, I actually, Mike, like, what I had in yesterday's audio vault was this. Nancy was a fighter. <laughs> 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 Even better. So that's there what, it is. That's what it is, like, yeah, 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 lady. There it is. Uh, all right, we're going to take a break. When we come back, uh, I know I do political persuasions, but we have to get everybody's opinion on the latest funny Trump thing. Yes. And uh, <laughs> I, I have to just say, <laughs> having the people do the Hitler salute is making me laugh. And so we will. Uh, I love you, too. This is my wife saying goodbye to me. She's bored. Go off. Go hope you find another Bobby Cannavale. She's going off to fight boredom, Mike. Uh, we'll take a break and we'll come back. <laughs> Two more right after the Mike O'Mary show. I'm a mess. I'm Maddie, and this is my internship. I experience it one week at a time with the Mike O'Mara show. In this episode, I'm trying to answer a question I originally overlooked. To fully understand TMOS, I need to begin with you, the listener. Are you the type of listener to send Mike counterfeit golf equipment or the type to send him the real stuff because you care about his balls? Do you use the code TMOS when you buy nuts.com? Will you crash Oscar's wedding? Are you a creepy middle-aged man who thinks the female interns will accept your friend request on Facebook? You know, like Rob Ford? Answers to these questions will help me figure out what makes the show tick. 888-920-MORE. But be prepared. They're not going to answer. 
<laughs> yeah, what happened to that? What Classic. happened to that? It still what, exists. Are we are we, we going to go public with that at some point? I, we I, have. We, we should have these discussions. Well, mm-hmm. I mean, like like to let people know. No, what time a, there we there is a rollout we plan. Mm-hmm. We've talked about it. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, times. I forget. I forget because you were you 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 know Oscar. There are a lot of there's a lot of stuff going on, right? There is. There's a lot of stuff going on. So when the, the rollout plan, right? The yes. rollout plan. I would say that we're gonna have our big announcement here in about a month. Yeah, yeah, within and, a month. And I we'll think. be go. We'll be moving on. We'll be every. It'll be a great way for the listener to engage with the program in real okay. time. Okay. Okay. And you know what? It's what we really need to point out is that when Maddie writes a promo, she refers to Rob Ford as middle aged. Middle aged. <laughs> that, that was my favorite oh, part of the classic. promo right there. Uh, oh, welcome back to the he show. Looks middle aged. Hey, he does. Uh, we, you know, in order for us to roll out all these good things we do, uh, we don't put our hand out on the Mike O'Mara show. We ask you to support our advertisers, and one of those advertisers is Amazon, and it's a long running relationship that we've had with Amazon. They don't know we exist. I'll be honest with you. They don't have a clue that we exist. But you know it is one of the best ways to support this show. And you know how you do it. We never really spell it out because we assume you all know this. Yeah. A lot of you don't. If you're doing any online shopping with Amazon and you know you want to say, let's check out Amazon. Let's see what I can get that for on Amazon. Let's see if Amazon has that. When you do all of that, will you please go to MikeOmeraShow.com and will you do it that way? If you shop on Amazon and you purchase something through the Mike O'Mara show page, which costs you no more money, mm-hmm. it benefits this show. It doesn't cost you any extra, and uh, you should find our Amazon link. You should bookmark it. Then use it every time you shop Amazon, and uh, you'll feel good about it. Just go to MikeOmeraShow.com slash Amazon or click the Amazon button on our website or use the app and click on the shopping cart. It's that easy. Mm-hmm. Amazon is really the best way to support this show. We want to say thank you about that. Welcome back. Uh, so, yeah. Big, uh, big new technological things yes. happening on yes. uh, the show, and I will bring you a gift, Rob, when I come through. Mike, don't worry about it, man. Yeah, That's don't it. worry. Relax. Or Mike, you can tell too. me what to get. I'll get it for him, and then no, no, it. I'll. You know what? Let me work on it today. Okay. I, I've been, uh, you know, you, you, you know how it is when you are ill. You get uh, completely and utterly self-absorbed. It's not and, just uh, that we've all had ourselves a few weeks here, and I would, yeah. I, it doesn't, it doesn't bother me, man. What do you want? What do you really want? want? What do you really, what is something you really want under the price of, say, yeah, you know what? I'm going to go hog wild. Under the price of $25. Under $25? Oh, wow. A Mm. brand new. A brand new electric fan. No, How about, I, you, you know, I'd love to get you booze because I know you you drink yourself silly every time you go home. That's yeah, good how booze. much is a? How about some Templeton Rye? I'd love it. Are you kidding me? Oh, Templeton yeah. Templeton Rye. What does that yeah, run these days? It's will, about and, forty-eight and a bottle. You, I think. Can I get that to you? Can I get that to you before I come up? Is that possible? Can they ship that to you? I think do they, they can. Do, that? do they? Do they ship? tell you that here? Do they guarantee that breakfast, <laughs> Brad? <laughs> Do they sell booze in your city, you know, Brad? Uh, you know, my daughter and her friend Kate uh, here over the weekend, they were quoting lines from Fast Times. Can you really? believe that? It's is that awesome. age that they still watch that movie? I can't believe wow. they watch that. I think Elizabeth's a catalyst for that. She loves it. We were quoting Fast Times lines out of the blue, just completely at random. What is the rule? Isn't Virginia one of those states where Mike, they don't let you do anything? What bad you do is this. First of all, you, if Templeton is sold in Florida because you know it's regional, oh. so you'd have to check that out. Also, though, Crown Royal makes a great rye now too, and that would be a lovely, lovely a great gift. rye. Great rye. If very, you had very... a choice between your Crown Royal and your Templeton, what would you do? Man, probably Templeton, but it's yeah, a coin flip. Stuff. It's a coin I'm flip. Not a rye guy, but I like that Templeton. You rye. have that a rye sense of humor. Rye. Am I makes right? Makes me think of Iowa. Makes waka, me think waka, of waka, Iowa. Waka. And that's uh, that's where we started drinking that up there. Yeah. It was fantastic. So Steve, I think that if you were to ship it, there may be a law or two that you would have to when you went yeah. to the shipping area or the post office or stamps.com. And they say, is there anything in here that is hazardous or liquid? And you no. go, nope, it's books. Just tell them it's books. Yes, my text yeah. um, I, I, You know, let me get on that because, uh, you know, to be honest with you, in the current depleted condition, I got nothing to do other than uh, stuff like that. So I'm going to – I promise you and I will do everything everything to see if i can overnight it to you oh, i will do everything to send see if I one can bottle of templeton and one bottle of dayquil there you go <laughs> and no, that'll the be DayQuil, 
And by the way, uh, tell me that's not a addictive narcotic when they sell three packs of the NyQuil yeah. in the in the uh, big box. <laughs> and stores, what is know? it about three packs of it? Who the mm-hmm. hell? I mean, I got a cold. I'm hoping I knock half this bottle out, and then uh, maybe that's going to be it for me. But if if you're on your third bottle, you you might want to take a look at yourself in the mirror because you got a problem with that. That's uh, that's concerning. You buy in bulk. Yeah, you got to buy in bulk. But what is it about NyQuil? You and I, Mike, are two great storied inebriants. We can really put it away. But yes. one dose of NyQuil, and I'm done. I take no, Zequil now on a regular basis. Zequil? Yes. Well, that's the NyQuil See, without the the uh, sinus stuff, it's right? It's sleepy mm-hmm. time. It's just Mrs. Sleepy O'Mara and I have tried the Zequil. Don't like the hangover I double in dose the morning. It. Double dose do it. Do you really? Have to. God, we gotta that's stop a lot this of stuff. mind racing. Do you, do you single dose your Nyquil, Rob? When you're taking your Nyquil, I do probably a little more than what's. Called I do. A, for. I do a cup and a half. I do a little yeah. shot and a half. So, and otherwise, it's not gonna work for me. I do. No, I mean a shot and a half. You I know, know the I mean, little it's like thing, The yeah. little cup and yeah. then half the little cup. That's what I uh, take. I usually then, fill the cup to the top. Which is like yeah, a dose and right a quarter, maybe. Exactly. I fill the cup. To, well, Mrs. O'Meara doles it out to me. I think she's uh, she's pouring it in there. So it's uh, it's yummy, yummy, loving my tummy. It's fantastic. But, Meanwhile, uh, Oscar is taking his equal and <laughs> telling Shannon, wake me up and feed me a cherry pie. <laughs> <laughs> well, last night, the problem with uh, the Dayquil, NyQuil deal is that I'm still up at 545 with the little guy, and... I'm filled with this narcotic yep. and this this drug. And so when I made my appointment for Cable Guy number 503 in, in, in my life. Cable Guy. I made a mistake. <laughs> this was my mistake. They, they gave me the choice of I wanted the, de- the, the soonest day. And the soonest yeah. day got me the late window. The late window, by the way, for the uh, people at uh, Kamikasta are, uh, is, was 5 to 7. Here's why the late window is flawed, Mike. Because oh, the late window is terrible. Never, ever, ever, ever. Because again. it's preceded by all the other windows, and if one thing goes wrong in one of the other windows, mm-hmm. it throws every window off. So a five to seven could very easily turn out to be seven thirty. Well, it was five of seven. Yeah, that's you see, that's that's, that's a bad that, window. That's when the truck pulled up, and my body at seven o'clock at night. Yeah, my body is really ready to shut down i i'm putting my kid to bed and then i'm going to bed in the situation that i'm in i am that run down i truly am and so i was not the angry guy i wasn't the agitated guy i was the defeated guy oh. and when i got on the phone with my wonderful cable people i was on for probably an hour with a uh, a lady who got the agitated me and got the I'm going to write a letter guy, got the you're taking money out of my children's mouths, you're, you're, the whole thing, and she did what was called an escalated ticket. Mm-hmm. Now, that sounds good, doesn't yeah. it? Doesn't that it sounds sound like important? something that you would be, have I'm to pay a, like a lot of money buy, for at sell, Disney World. Buy, sell, buy, Here's sell. What the, <laughs> this is what the escalated ticket was, that they were sending out not an average person, they were bringing out a I don't I don't want to use the word supervisor, but a big guns. second level, a, a more big technical gun, yeah. savvy a tenured guy. Tenured cable guy, mm-hmm. right, right. And so uh, I, I I said that's going to be fine. So I'm at the end of the window, and I at this point I didn't get a call as to when they were on the way, which they normally do. You I just thought say they might please be come off. now, just be done with it. So the truck arrives at 645 Ooh. and I see the front of the truck sitting out in front of my domicile and I'm not going out to the street because I know that's not going to be productive they, they one thing these it might guys be threatening. love to do it might be threatening yeah they love to sit in their truck they like to arrive mm-hmm. get on their little iPad and do whatever the crap is they're doing but this is stuff that's all been done I've, I've talked to them uh, till I'm blue in the face about what's happening. But I'm saying, out of that truck will come the guy, the, the main guy. And finally, at one minute before seven, as though uh. the watch was checked and said, well, this is going to minimize my human contest, uh, contact, the 11-year-old Comcast young man <laughs> came to the door. I mean, this seriously. This is the tenured technician. Yes, I I seriously wanted to congratulate him on winning his debate in high school that that afternoon. Wow. That is how young. And he walks in, and uh, he said, "So, what seems to be the problem?" 
and my shoulders slumped, oh. and I realized at this very moment that everything they had told me about this guy being the guy who was going to look into it and come back out, that I had to start all over again. Mm. And nobody had looked at anything. Square and then one. he said, you know, let me get you on the phone with my supervisor. Mm. And so he calls his supervisor, oh. and he, he's holding the phone to me, and he says, my supervisor's bringing up your situation right now. He says he's got some of it, but it seems to be rather lengthy. lengthy. And I said, you think? Mm -hmm. So he's holding the phone, and uh, he says, okay, he's checking out right now. I'm going to see if he'll talk to you about it. <laughs> yeah, and then you hear on the other side, <laughs> the guy's going, uh-huh. 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 And then he hangs up. He says, he said, send him an email in the morning. Oh, so, what? No. X shitify, oh, ladies and gentlemen. Man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's it. Uh, so send that me was, an email. Uh, so that you was, have to email the supervisor? Yes. Yes. So yes. after all oh, of that, Oh, and I was also given his shoulders. business line. I was given his business line and then told by the 14-year-old kid that came to my house that uh, because he's in the field a lot, he probably won't answer that line. I said... Thank Great. you. Good night. Didn't oh. even want to argue. Didn't even want to deal with it. Send him on his way. And for all of you that may ever have to deal with this particular situation, I say my prayers are with you, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. That is the way it goes. Oh. Brutal. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, uh, but anyway, that's it. That's it. So, you know, once again, DGH rules the day. Yes. So yeah. Yeah. I never, my nipples do not get hard when those Comcast <laughs> trucks pull up in front of my house. Not anymore. Doesn't happen. Not my anymore. shoulders slump. My shoulders slump because I'm going to deal with another one of their millions of employees uh, who know how to play the corporate game. We'll take yeah. a break and come back with uh, more fun and more thrills on the Mike O'Mara Show. <laughs> Hope you're having a good time. Little girl. Welcome back to the Mike O'Mara Show brought to you by Vistaprint. Uh, my friend Dirk Va Vastrick sent me a card from Vistaprint. I love Ooh, that. Dirk. And uh, look look what he put on the uh, the back. He put, uh, hey, listen, right there. See? Oh, oh cool. I love it's got that. Rob. It's got Oscar. It's got Mike. It's got Pony. All of us right there. It's, I know it's hard to see on this camera, but uh, that's a wonderful card. He's promoting the show and handing this out to uh, friends. And Dirk, you are a, a good man for that. Let me see what else I got here. Another Vistaprint card from uh, Joel Rogers with uh, the Coaster Gallery uh, yes. right there. Another P1 fan who decided to send that along. We have so many people that uh, listen mm -hmm. to the show and support this show. We have a core of people that uh, live and die with it and do an incredible job. Cross Keys Dental. There is their Vistaprint card. That is their appointment reminder, which they did on Vistaprint. Fantastic. They put that right on the back. And they also put together a uh, lovely little flyer with the two uh, owners of the dental practice right on the front. You can do it, too. And uh, it's just... You know, anything for business, they can do it. They Vista do everything. Print. Vista Print cards make it easy and affordable to make a dazzling first impression. And uh, if you use the promo code TMOS at checkout, you're now going to get 500 cards for under 10 bucks. That's right. 500 cards for under 10 bucks. Great quality, easy to customize. Just visit Vistaprint.com, create your custom card, and use promo code TMOS at checkout. Remember, TMOS, go to Vistaprint.com and order yours today. Welcome back to the Mike O'Mara uh, show. I will uh, discuss my, my slightly under the weather condition here with one thing. I believe that if you are going to be out and about, mm -hmm. it is a better way to expectorate if you bring what my wife considers to be an old man accoutrement oh. with you. And that is the traditional handkerchief. Oh. Oh. oh, see, there you go. Okay, you know, once again, uh, you know, I'll find an 80-year-old widow down here, and you move in, Oscar. Tell Shannon to pack it in, and you can move in with Carla because you guys are simpatico because handkerchief is out of the generation. Guess what, Mike? I bring the handkerchief. I'll what? move in with you because I am pro-handkerchief. Pro-handkerchief. Absolutely. It's, to me, I'm not going to bring... A, a package. Uh, first of all, I'm not going to be like somebody that Rob and I know that whenever he would get a cold would go <laughs> for 16 hours a day. Oh, my God. Rob, it was the thing. It was the number one on my hip parade. Yep. I hated that more than anything else. It was <laughs> people that do that. I blow my nose. I believe you get the poison out of your body. And the fact is, if I'm not, 
I don't want to bring 750 Kleenexes, ball them up in my pocket, and put. Them. I would rather have the traditional handkerchief. Because That's even if you take like. neat, like a neat stack of Kleenexes and mm-hmm. fold them, they yes. immediately start to deteriorate. And there's no good way to transfer them. And I hate the little plastic thing that has like 15 Kleenexes in it. Hate that. But the cle- you have the, right. you have the handkerchief Guys, and you're set and you're good to go. A rascal is better for your knees, but it doesn't mean you have to use one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> I don't know. It's uh, very, very frustrating. And uh, I, uh, you know, she said, you're not going to bring that to the game, are you? Uh, this is a couple of days ago when I first got this call. She said, you're not going to bring that to the game? I said, yes. She said, no. I said, what do you expect me to do? A Kleenex? Excuse me. They don't have Kleenex dispensers in the middle of a ballpark. So as opposed to having snot running down my face, I'm going to bring a handkerchief, and I'm going to use that. And the, the I just I think that's the proper way to deal with this. You know, sitting hey. on a park bench. <laughs> Are they monogrammed? Snot. Sitting on a park bench. Well, look, I understand. Snot running down his nose. I understand all that. The fact is that uh, you know, just another one of the many things that. Uh, Do you that wear, we wear sandals with socks? <laughs> no, I don't wear sandals with socks. Have you God's ever? Sake. Have you ever? No. Uh, I don't think I have. Maybe like an early morning thing where I I was just tired or didn't pay attention. But no, I'd never go out of the house. And I don't believe in Dress wearing socks uh, with garters. Dr- no, I don't believe in going out of the house with uh, sneakers. And uh, even when I'm golfing, I will wear the uh, the the low profile sock with my golf shoes under long pants. That's that's true. I I am so anti uh, long socks going up mid calf uh, because they they just they look ridiculous. You don't want to wear like I the am. Kareem Abdul Jabbar socks that go up <laughs> to your knees with two thick red stripes yeah. on them. I will even if I'm walking uh, with uh, like gym shorts and I'm doing a power walk. If I have regular tube socks, I will roll them down almost to ankle level. I cannot stand the long profile well, sock, yeah. and you see a lot of that with the old. It's the same guy that'll wear like a trucker's hat when he's driving his uh, Crown Vic. That's the uh, that's the same person that yes. does that. Down You're better than that. And it. I also, I, it always to me brings up the image of uh, on the old Tonight Show when Ed McMahon would cross his legs and his uh, pant leg would ride up, and you'd see that he have on old man socks, but they would go up like 14 inches. Yeah, and you have to well, wonder, they were they really there as socks or something corrective? They almost <laughs> look like, like medical socks. Well, so with they dress had, socks, you have to, you have, they are pulled up. So yes, yes see, that dress socks, I go, I'll wear the super sheer dress sock that goes way up because I don't want to have – you don't if you're wearing That's a dress like we're just we've done live shows where yeah. we've worn suits and stuff like that. Yeah. The last thing I want to see is, you know, Sonny Jurgensen's skin calf. when uh we, you know calf. <laughs> I don't want to see calf. I don't I don't want to show in a calf. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't, don't you have these socks in a longer size cuz I don't want to, you know, cross my legs and show some I don't calf. Do that. Yeah, so <laughs> this dovetails into the other underwear issue where uh I told Mrs. O'Mara I wear uh, the I wear kind of pattern boxers like with plaids or stuff like that. And when you're wearing like uh, down here in South Florida, you're wearing like a white pair of uh, golf shorts to go out. I will say, can you see uh, my underwear through these guns? She said, yes, you can't wear those. And I said, okay. Well, I went to the store the other day and I got myself some uh, some white uh, boxers. And she said. No, you need – this is where she's a real girl. Yes. She says, no, you need like a tan or a cream. I said, excuse me. What? There is not underwear invented in America that is in a tan or a Tope. cream. You get either the <laughs> – Did you explain to her, Mike, that you were only about 90 minutes away from those being tan or cream? <laughs> <laughs> I said, no, you get the white – the white ones. That's right. what you get. That's because what you those get. are the the colors. And I've listen, I've gone through Amazon. I've gone through uh Mac Weldon, our old client yeah. there. I've gone through they are not it is not a common no. color. There are lots of men's briefs, boxers, boxer briefs now come in usually more solid colors. They white have, or something or dark or a right. pattern. White or a pattern or dark. That's bright it. orange, the ones I'm wearing right now. Really? That's the way. Yes. And the, most of them yeah. are those. And, and they're, they're, you know, by the way, 
fabrics are changing, and yeah. they're coming out wicking in more material. of these synthetic wicking material, which I'm all in on down here in this mm. climate. But of course. The fact is, so she said, no, you need a cream. <laughs> cream. I said, cream. <laughs> show me. Show me a pair of cream boxer shorts, <laughs> and I will go, you know. Yeah, I, what about yeah. gray? Could you go with a light gray? Because sometimes you see them in, like, a locker room gray. Wait. Well, I'm going to experiment. I bought a, I bought several new pairs. This is an exciting happens. time to be it's in very, South very Florida. What's going yes, through is. your shorts? The pattern of the, like, uh, like right now. What am I wearing right now? Yeah. Why don't you stand up and model them? Uh, I'm not yeah, so will, sure will, it's will. what please, we want. Please, if you don't right. a little visual. Classic video day Today's for everybody. Ustream. Right. Yeah. Right. Ustream bonus day. Oh, package. Yeah. <laughs> package. <laughs> Unleash the monster. I don't know Mike. how Carl is bored with that. Yeah. Smuggling yeah. plums. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mike, nice doodads. <laughs> hey, buddy. I can't get it to stay. That's what she said. That's right. Uh, huh. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> Boo. Boo. Boo indeed. Boo this man. I was going to let you slide on that, but I'm glad you called yourself. I'm that's, embarrassed I did that. That's the first step to Never being mind. cured. Could you step on a stool, Mike? Oh, okay. All oh, right. now he's oh, showing yeah. some leg. All right. So he's pulling up his pant leg to reveal his boxers, oh, which are okay. I a see blue that. plaid. Yeah, there you go. Nice plaid. Nice so, uh, Catholic school plaid. His concern yeah. is mm-hmm. that with the, yes. uh, especially under blinding bright lights, uh-huh. uh, you will see the pattern of the boxer Got through it. the white uh, oh, the cream shorts of the shorts, yes. exactly. So, but what are you wearing linen it? shorts? What are you What are you wearing these days? <laughs> uh, cotton. I think they're cotton. The finest linens. The finest linens. It's the Haynes Company. I'll be honest with you. It's the Haynes Company. They're about as cheap as you can get. Well, they're, no, we. Uh, I think he was asking the, about the shorts, the golfing shorts, not the uh, uh, not the boxers. The cotton. Geez, um, maybe a cotton poly blend rayon. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's Silk I rayon. <laughs> They're not well. No, you wear the you wear the stuff down here. I'm wearing is the your, your modern material. Yeah, but your Oscar modern is athletic material. Trying to trick you into be. saying you're wearing something shiny is yes. I think where he's well, going. Well, no, I can. Most of the time when I'm playing golf, I wear a synthetic short. I'm yeah, no longer do. wearing cotton. Yeah, <laughs> no, do. that's what people wear. <laughs> do you know if you're watching Bubba Watson? <laughs> If you're yes. watching Bubba Watson or Adam Scott, yes, my fantasy guy, Adam Scott, by the way, nice. who has uh, won two tournaments back-to-back, ladies and gentlemen, and I haven't gotten my results from the guy that runs our pool down here, but I believe Mr. O'Mara is going to have an incredible golf gambling year. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, but anyway, we'll see. Keep your fingers crossed. But anyway, no, they all wear those, you know, all these materials now are like this T-shirt. They're yes. synthetic materials. What does Tom materials. Kite wear now? Does Tom, Tom Kite... Kite wears burlap. <laughs> <laughs> he, is wearing, he is wearing burlap right now. By the way, speaking of Comcast boys, you know what? I hate yes. to get happy, but if it happens like this every day, I could do the rest of the run. It's not bad. That's, That's not, bad. not bad. Not bad at all. Mm-hmm. It's, it's the six fun. times that I have a little trouble with. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, uh, getting back to that, no, the synthetic <laughs> materials are the way of the day, and uh, you know that. Well, there's another thing called microfiber. Are you yeah, aware of microfiber? That's what my shorts are right it now. It is the tiniest fiber. You can't even see them. Yeah. That's right. Microfiber. Nice what about tight. you, Rob? What uh, What are you wearing today? Uh, what just are you, uh, uh, I'm wearing uh, as far as my shorts or my undergarments. Uh, well, your shorts. What My ca- shorts are, are just. Car- are they cargo shorts? Of course, are they you cargo know they short? would be. They're I'm a, just guessing. They I'm are. They're guessing. a tan cargo short, and my underwear. I don't know what color it yeah, is. Yeah, what's a birthday suit look like? Uh, <laughs> It is. Jesus, oh, you want him to get naked? What's gray. going on with They're that? They're cotton gray, gray boxer shorts. Nice. There you go. Mm-hmm. There you Just go. Like his cold. <laughs> <laughs> and Mike, I find that uh, if it's <laughs> if enough is called on a, a fabric, any fabric can be a wicking material. <laughs> oh God! That the- is a, that's that's lovely. <laughs> <laughs> That's wonderful. We're so happy. And oh, what is that? A so rash? <laughs> maybe you would need less pattern on your shorts, and they won't see. Is it? Uh, did someone call you out on it? That no, you no, know it, this I, happens. There, I bought one pair. I don't like. Look, I am not a professional golfer, so I don't wear the white shorts or pants out on the golf. Because to be honest with you, 
you're you're you're, you're picking up golf balls out of the dirt. You're getting you're putting tees in your pocket and say these guys, these pros. I was thinking about that. I don't think they have anything in their pockets. I think their caddy hands them a tee. Their caddy hands them the ball. Their caddy hands them the ball re uh, repair tool. That's the way they they do all that. So they 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 go through a round and you see these pros. It's part of being a pro, I guess. They're immaculate. That's at the why end they of have the such round. a nice uh, line, Mike. They, their wardrobe has yeah. such a nice they line. Are just Can you imagine? Looking. You have Bubba Watson out there, and he's got a huge bulge because he's carrying like a George Costanza wallet. <laughs> yeah. like, Let me find my ball way. marker. Oh, he got some mustard on his pants. <laughs> It, yeah, it doesn't dog. happen, you know? I mean, I, I, I saw one eating like a protein bar the other day, and I said, watch out for the chocolate. Uh, but anyway, you know, they're, you they're doing yell right. that. They're, they're doing fine. And uh, they don't yeah, have to pay for okay. the clothes. That's right. They're provided. Right. Like, mm. right. I it's rem free. I remember. Oh. Do you think they get a new pair of pants every day, Oscar? Do you think okay, they get like, a brand new pair of pants every John single Daly day? John Daly did, but they he needed them. <laughs> <laughs> we had uh, we all have a common friend uh, that played in the NFL. Yes, and he uh, was sponsored uh, by Nike to a certain degree. And I remember he was kind enough to when he was a younger player, um, he let us know that Nike lets him spend X amount of dollars a year, and he never really spent it. Oh. So we would get sneakers through his account sent to our home. Because they they said anything he wants, you just put it on this account, and they and send it to his house. And for golf pros, mm. it's probably times fifty because yes. they sponsor these yes. guys because directly. Because they want them to wear the latest and greatest, and if they want ten of them, they can have ten. So of them. I always assumed it would have been up to the company to provide what they wanted the person to wear. Well, for the tournaments for golf, that is a given fact. From whether it's Armor <laughs> Armor or Under Armor. Nike, they actually come and say, "This is what you're going to wear." Okay. Right? Do you this remember when I asked? our business guy Chris to uh, pursue the loudmouth yes. golf was remember yes. that didn't I they, an awkward didn't conversation they, didn't they tell him to go scratch basically you know that uh, <laughs> Michael uh, Merrill the pro not, I was not a professional athlete and that I could go uh, get bent but uh, Mark just still like to put it out there you know yeah you know we can maybe fudge that way uh, by the way Mark Romero is interested in <laughs> up in your it would be Mike the whole yeah. the whole account would be based on the phrase Mr. O'Mara Mr. Yes. O'Mara feels, mm -hmm. Mr. O'Mara yes. would like, Mr. O'Mara exactly. likes this. And it's and it'll work. No, of it course won't. it will. It won't. It'll never work. But the uh, just like, uh, you know, I, I, I'm not looking at this stage of my career to get those sweetheart deals, just like I did not get a sweetheart deal for my air conditioner. Uh, of but, which uh, you own 90% here... of. I, I am here to tell you that it, it has. Thank you. Yes, I, I threw it away, but it's here. Oh, um, the thing oh. is, I bought it. Um, I don't think I underpaid. I don't think I overpaid. I think I paid right in the middle of it. But what the guy did, there, there's one thing I talk about this all the time. If you're going to sell me something, if you have product knowledge, yes. if you d in great detail are able to go through the whole thing. Look, all the people online that sent me messages about this, I cannot tell you how grateful I am because it actually armed me with questions to ask this guy and uh you know the 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 harsh reality of my situation <laughs> is that the unit i was dealing with was 24 years wow old. that is a the solid fact, run and that, is a that is solid an amazing run. and you know what that, that really in florida run. that's like 48 yeah, yeah. years old that's because dog yes. years. you run it all year at can i ask what brand you purchased uh yeah, I got a good one. I got a train. That's I that's train. the Cadillac Ooh, right there, yeah. man. Yeah, so that's Carla. it's not the super deluxe Cadillac, but it's a good solid Lexus. I think it really Lexus? is. I think it's going to last me a, a long train. time. No. Now, after all was said and done, this is the only thing I'm going to mention. Yes. And oh. this is where probably due diligence may have bought me two to three more months, maybe six months, maybe if I was super lucky another year. The bottom line, the time was now to replace this thing, and I could have gone back on the deal, but I chose not to. After all was said and done, <laughs> and, uh, oh, God, we're running out of time. After all was said and done, uh, I got one email that said, it was a guy that was like a super, like worked in an apartment building. Sure. He, said, he said, check the air intake filter. That can freeze up your unit, and that can cause a problem, and they should be checked out every three months. I looked three over months? at Carl. Three months? I looked over at Carl, and I went, oh! <laughs> and got the ladder, went up top, and the air filter for my intake had been sucked into the tube. Oh, <laughs> Do, yeah. Hold on. Sucked into the tube for one reason. It was so clogged 
that it actually had been pulled into the tube. It looked like there was a dead raccoon in it. it so was no that- air could pass. Yes, but but uh, but it had been sucked in a long time ago, and the air okay. was passing, and all it right. still froze. But the fact is that, uh, yeah, after all was said and done, I think I got a good deal. They're coming out in a couple of weeks to put it in. It, 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 the time was now. And, is AC uh, working again once you pull uh, it out? He's, he put a little, well, I guess somebody, a bunch of people sent me messages that said Freon is a thing of the past. And uh, they, they hit the thing with Freon, and it's uh, it's buying us a couple of weeks. I and so far, sometimes... so far it's fun. I'm not sweating today, so that's a good okay. thing. I think sometimes they might operate uh, parallel to the law with Freon. Uh, w- right. With a car air conditioners too, like it's illegal to charge a leaking compressor yes. because the Freon will go yeah. into the environment. Ooh. But sometimes they do. <laughs> so who knows? Oh, maybe I shouldn't have said that. No, nothing was changed. I'm still sweating. <laughs> uh, we will take a break and uh, come back with news you may not need. You are listening to the Mike O'Mara Grapefruit Hour. <laughs> Hello? Hello, it's me, Pedro. I don't have much to say, but I want to tell you that while I ride my bike to school, I like to listen to the Cake and Cookie Show with Rob and Katie. They're really good. I was looking for a podcast about putting cakes or something, and it wasn't until a few episodes in that I realized that Cake and Cookies wasn't about cake or cookies. But I still like Rob and Katie, so I still listen. You can find them on iTunes or on the Michael Mayer Show app. I'm feeling really hot. I'm going to go home and lie down. Cake and cookies. <laughs> Rob and Katie. It's the Rob and Katie Show. Welcome back to the Mike O'Mara Show, brought to you by Stamps.com. Trips to the post office are never convenient. It's a scientific fact. True. I know this for a fact. Even little Einsteins uh, know that uh, E equals post office inconvenience squared. <laughs> <laughs> But it is convenient to get your postage right from your desk with Stamps.com. The better way to buy postage with Stamps.com. You can even get special discounts that you can't get at the post office. So whether it's first class, priority, express, or international, anything, you'll never pay full price for postage again, my friend. Stamps.com is a snap. Edit here. Just use... Just use your own computer and printer to buy and print official U.S. postage for any letter or package. Stick it on uh, and hand it to your mail carrier or drop it in any mailbox or so. It's that easy. No wonder over half a million small businesses are already using Stamps.com. We've used Stamps.com for years, and we adore it. Right now, you can use our promo code TMOS for this special offer, a four-week trial, dears, plus a $110 bonus offer that includes postage and a digital scale. Don't wait. Go to Stamps.com, and before you do anything else, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage and type in T-M-O-S. Do you hear me? Do you feel me? T-M-O-S. And you will never have to go to the post office again. News! News! Peyton Manning did it. He announced his retirement yesterday at a uh, press conference. And uh, he was emotional throughout his uh, 11-minute speech. He even cried a few times. Tough time for a great elite athlete when they have to pack it in. He ended it saying, quote, When I look uh, back on my NFL career, I'll know without a doubt that I gave everything I had to help my teams walk away with a win. Chicken parm, you taste so good. (laughs) He didn't say that. No. Uh, There were other players who were more talented, but there was no... Oh, this is still his quote. There were other players who were more talented, but there was no one who could out-prepare me. And because of that, I have no regrets. And after 18 years, it's time. God bless all of you, and God bless football. Uh, He then took questions from reporters for 15 minutes, including one who asked him about the accusation that he put his genitals on the head of a female trainer who was working on his foot 20 years ago while he was in college. I am someone who believes if you misbehaved and you did bad things, there is no statute of limitations. And if you're an elite athlete and you're in the public eye, you should be called on that. With that said, that reporter is a little weaselly dick, and there's a time and a place. There's a more appropriate time and a place. And when you ask that question at that press conference when he's packing it in, 
you're going to not serve the cause. And I right. think that lady might have a legitimate gripe. I've read all there is to read about it, but that reporter is just being a little... Nye, 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 nye. Well, here was his quote. He said, I think it's sad that some people don't understand the truth and the facts. I did not do what has been alleged, and I'm not interested in relitigating something that happened when I was 19 years old. Kind of like my dad used to say when I was in trouble, I can't say it any plainer than that. And so this is a joyous day, and it's a special day, and like Forrest Gump... Uh, that's all I have to say about that. So, uh, you know, it was just uh, it was kind of awkward, but that's what these guys do. Everybody wants to be Jim Rome. That's the yeah, way it goes. Sure enough. Charlie Sheen and Whoopi Goldberg, weird combination here, will star in a movie about five people who get trapped in an elevator in the World Trade Center on September 11th, 2001. I mean, just uh, this knocked me uh, in the dirt for a minute when I saw yeah. this. Yeah. The uh, movie is called 9-11. It also stars uh, Louis Guzman uh, from the TV show Code Black, Wood Harris from The Wire, and Olga Fonda, who played Nadia Petrova on The Vampire Diaries. Kind of a weird... Very diverse B-level cast. Yeah. cast there. Charlie says, quote, I feel deeply connected to the material, and I'm so excited to be working with my dear friend Whoopi Goldberg. So look for that. I didn't know I they no were friends. I think that's cool. I didn't know that either. <laughs> Interesting. ACDC has postponed the rest of their tour... Apparently because the loud music was making singer Brian Johnson go deaf. It's a weird story, but it wow. uh, makes sense. Uh, the band released this statement. Brian has been advised by doctors to stop touring immediately or risk total hearing loss. They said they'd be uh, rescheduling the 10 remaining shows, but, quote, likely with a guest vocalist. How sad is this? That is uh, sad. There isn't any further information on Brian's condition, but there's a chance this means he's done performing live for good. Of course, ACDC is also without rhythm guitarist Malcolm Young, who retired because of dementia, and drummer Phil Rudd, who uh, was dropped from the group after threatening to kill someone. I remember oh. that story, yeah. You may want to think about just releasing the albums and stop the tour. How many are left, know. then? I'm sorry I'm laughing at that. I can't So what have they so. got, a rhythm guitarist and a guy pretending to be the lead vocalist now? I did that. <laughs> All I those years. Yeah. Yeah, Turn the monitor down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, some researchers from a Alto University in Finland just released a study that linked the apps you have to your age, your gender, your income, and your marriage status. Hmm. The Washington Post took their results and put together a quiz where you answer whether or not you have different apps, and they predict if you're male or female, over or under 32, married or single, and make more or less than $52,000 a year, they say it's between 61 and 82% accurate, which means they should probably get three of those four things right. And just looking at the quiz, you can get uh, you can start to see how they might draw their conclusions. If you've got Pinterest or Etsy, you're probably female. If right. you've got Zillow and Yelp, you're probably married and making over 52 grand. And if you've got Tinder and Snapchat, you're probably single or married and dirty. <laughs> nice. Uh, take the quiz by uh, going to our uh, Washington Post. Uh, app. I've got Pinterest. Ours, but. And you know what? It's, but you know what? If really they only have four qualifications, they've got a one in sixteen chance just by spinning the wheel. Yeah. It's not that impressive mm -hmm. that they're doing that. No, and makes the me fact, think twice uh, about my apps. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Get rid of Zillow. Got, uh, let's see what I've Zillow. Got. I've got. Zillow. Zillow. Yeah. Redfin. Okay. Zillow. I have photos, calendar, clock. And flashlight. Oh, yeah. thank you. Right. Yeah. You're a single man uh, that's 92 years old. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> There's a little girl in Lafayette, Louisiana, named Nicoline Perrin. That's a great Louisiana that name. That is a name. Nicoline. She's turning eight years old tomorrow. She recently lost her grandmother, who was diagnosed with leukemia, uh, about four years ago. Poor thing. So she told her parents she wanted to do something in her honor and decided to take all of the birthday presents she gets this year and donate them. Them to charity there's a uh, photo online of her posing with all the stuff she's gotten so far because she's done this she's getting a lot more a lot than more she presents, normally would yeah. and she's giving it all away and she's already got a pretty good haul donating them to a children's cancer hospital in houston so the kids who are being uh, treated there will have some new toys to play with and that you know it's just a good for nothing her. super funny about it i just thought i'd share that Very with you sweet. to uh, to balance stories like uh, a little something something that i have for you <laughs> now okay from, uh, mm. From, of course, Florida. Yes. Uh, your dog hates being scrubbed and clipped. I know Beluga <laughs> yeah. throws an absolute fit, and you can hear him going, when he's doing this. Uh, doesn't like to be dried. Everything else the groomer does in the name of dog beauty. So it's about time that one of them took 
Some revenge. Oh, no. <laughs> 69-year-old Julia Everett of Newport Ritchie, Florida, was taking her small shih tzu to the groomers <laughs> on Thursday morning. As they pulled into the parking lot, the dog panicked and jumped down towards Julia's feet and slammed on the gas. <laughs> so the uh, car jumped the curb and plowed right into the front of the grooming building. Uh, it did some damage to the wall and the front counter of the groomers, but fortunately no one was hurt. Uh, Julia is not facing any charges for this, but uh, her shih tzu will be required to take driver improvement classes. <laughs> so that is the latest. That's all I got for you today. Thank you very much. We'll take a break. When we come back, it's the Audio Vault and Rob Spiewak right here on The Michael Mayer Show. Yeah. Can you talk mm. Oh, yeah. Do yeah. It? Can you tell that in 425 <laughs> and fake an email? Can I? Yeah. Do you like to surf the back plane of a router? Yes, I do. Yeah. Have you ever hex edited your way to a registered version? <laughs> Sounds sexy. <laughs> We're not going to be talking about any of those things, but what will we be talking about, oh, Oscar? It's yeah. technology and the way it affects your life. And we're going to be combining a lot of entertainment. It's going to be a good time. <laughs> this is not your father's oh, yeah. show. Worst yeah. promo ever. Show available on the More Broadcasting Network and on iTunes. That means it's good, so please check it out. <laughs> Thank you, Todd. Appreciate that. And Todd, as always, I always like to let you know how I feel. This you is smart. You is important. There you go, Todd. Yeah. Thank you very much. Welcome back to the Mike O'Mara Show. Uh, brought to you by our app. Hey, hey, everybody. Hey, you. Hey, listen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How would you like a free upgrade for your smartphone? No strings attached. Would that make you happy? Yeah. Mm. Well, it's easy. Just download the TMOS app and fall in love with your smartphone all over again. The TMOS app. Pony, what can you tell us about the TMOS app? What makes it so special? You know what? It's the easiest way to get the bonus show, and it makes it easy to get every other show on the More Network. Why wouldn't you do it? Really it really is. I listen, there you go. I listen to the TMOS. When I'm, when I'm listening to the show, most of the time I'm in my car, and I listen uh, through the app. And yes. when I'm showing people uh, outside of handing out a card... How the show works, I use the TMOS app. Mm -hmm. It is the best way to get the show. I still am stunned that more people don't avail themselves of the TMOS app. So uh, please, uh, whether you're iOS or Android, it's the easiest way to listen to Mike O'Mara. And uh, stay tuned. 2016 has some big things in store for the TMOS app that you don't want to miss. So make sure you download the TMOS app today and improve your TMOS experience and do it instantly. Let's open up the audio vault for Tuesday, March 8th, 2016. Rob Spiewak. I always love when I wake up and turn on the television and Donald Trump is on the phone. Never in studio, <laughs> always on the phone. And Mike, I only lead with this because you teased it earlier. Yes. He claims that when he asked the people in his rallies, which, by the way, are the biggest and the best rallies, mm -hmm. to raise their right hand, he had no idea people thought it looked like a Nazi rally in the <laughs> 1930s. He claimed he had no idea. Let's go to the tape. Here he is defending himself. This is, and I will give uh, credit to Jim Villani, the maestro of the Manassas Symphony, who uh, actually did a takeoff on Casablanca on Facebook today. He says, Donald Trump is shocked, shocked to find out that people think he's a Nazi. So uh, here, let's hear him defend himself. Sometimes we'll do it for fun, and they'll, say, they'll start screaming at me, do the swear and do the swear and I mean, they're, they're having such a great time. They're massive crowds. I get, you know, by far the biggest crowds, and we're having a good time. <laughs> Honestly, until this phone call, I didn't know it was a problem. Yeah, they're having a good time because Nazi rallies are fun. And no, no, everyone but, gets to raise right, their hand. Here's the real question. Here's the real question. Do you think, do you think, I, I do, I'm sorry, there is a part of that audience there that gets off on it. Sure. You oh, know yeah. there is. You know there is. These it's a the gang same. mentality. It's a there's mob no, there's mentality. No, we love you, Donna. Yeah. We love you, Donna. There you go. It's There's fun. Scary. Be. It is very scary. <laughs> it's scary. And the fact that he can apparently, I mean, you can't, I'm only guessing because he's on the phone with a straight face, say, I had no idea people yeah. had a problem with it because it's a lot of fun. People ask to do it. <laughs> well, if people ask to burn down a building, you don't burn down a building. Yeah. You say he, no. He circled back on it. Matt Lauer gave him a second chance to come back on it, and he circled back and said, I'll look into it. He, oh, he loves that. He won't do it again. I, one thing about Donald Trump, he's very... Very pragmatic in that regard. I do not think he's going to do that again. 
Uh, you know, as far as throwing people out of rallies, that's a different story. There was a great, great piece on that last night. It was like, get him out, get him out. And they went, they did this little montage. Of, get him out of here. Get him out. Get him out. Get him out. But the I don't think, it's just my opinion, right. that you're going to see another uh, C. Kyle. <laughs> at a and Mike, Trump we like rally. to call those the SHM. I'm sorry I'm laughing. I shouldn't be the laughing this, but it's too goddamn sorry. funny. He <laughs> is shocked. He's shocked. I thought it was nice that at uh, Peyton Manning's Peyton Manning's resignation ceremony. You can call him Peyton Manning. I like Peyton that. Manning. Peyton, Manning. Peyton, Manning. Peyton Manning. He did a nice shout out to one of our favorite sponsors. Omaha. So I thought that was nice. <laughs> um, nice. Have you ever voted for a candidate based on a celebrity endorsement? God, no. I don't Absolutely think so. And it doesn't mean anything no. to me, does it? Uh, I probably drifted away from a candidate based on a celebrity. Endorsement, who, probably. When we were doing Big O and Dukes on WJFK, yeah. Ju- Julia Louise Dreyfus. Julia Louis Dreyfus. Louis Dreyfus. I always kill it. Uh, she called in and to, for Obama. Yeah. And I sat there. I was like, eh. Elaine's saying everything's all right. If I voted, <laughs> I'd vote for Obama. <laughs> you well, did. That's an answer right yeah, there. That's so funny. Arnold Schwarzenegger, this is just so weird to me. Arnold Schwarzenegger endorses John Kasich. He puts this video up. Sorry about that. Oh, that's Arnold calling in. Uh, and <laughs> let's see what he has to say. I want John Kasich to be the next nominee of the Republicans and also to be the next president of the United States. Here he is. Thank you, Arnold. Love you, man. <laughs> so... <laughs> <she's too laughs> awesome. Yeah, too funny. That rubbed me in sort of a weird way. I said, you know what? That's they're kind, friends. They're friends. But then when Jimmy Kimmel analyzed it, then it made sense to me. Trump and Cruz, each won two states. Rubio won Puerto Rico. Bernie Sanders won a few states. Hillary Clinton won big in Louisiana. Everybody went home a winner. And just like soccer camp. It was really nice. <laughs> Even John Kasich got a certificate of participation. He also got a high-profile endorsement from Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold officially endorsed John Kasich yesterday. Or maybe he endorsed a chicken quesadilla. I, I have no idea what... <laughs> he endorsed Kasich, and then he gave him a hug. It looked like it could pop his head off. But this is particularly interesting because, basically, Governor Kasich is hoping to be the former host of The Apprentice, with help from the current host of The Apprentice, Arnold Schwarzenegger. See, it's just it's just weird circles sometimes. That all, the, all that stuff. Well, a lot of reality television has entered into our political discussion. That's the way it goes. Here. Speaking of reality television, I know Oscar's going to be pleased because he missed The Bachelor last I, night. I missed. He missed it. Not mitched. Mitched. He, uh, Mitch is The Bachelor <laughs> That next looks year. like it could be a new verb. <laughs> hey, what happened? Oh, man, you won't believe it. I mitched it. I mitched it. I mitched it, <laughs> I mitched it man. You know what? What happened? Well, if she came over to visit. Visit me, and then uh, look. You know, I wasn't in the mood. I look. I know she's hot, but I was tired, and you know, I had to work at six o'clock in the morning. Look, all things considered, I mitched it. He's named after Mitch McConnell, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> it's the verb I form it. of mitching right. it. Uh, but anyway, I missed it. Yes. Last night they were doing like the uh, season retrospective, oh, right? Looking yeah. back over it, and this bachelor Ben talks a good game. And really, with the help of the host, tap dances out of the fact that he told two women on the same day that he loved them both. By the way, do you know he does this on his birthday? You know he does this for you. Yes. You know he does this specifically for you. This is not for me. This is not for Pony. This is for you, Oscar Santana. This is your moment. Yes. He puts this I'm crap this. on our show for you. <laughs> Mike, what I like to feel is that I'm taking I'm taking 40 seconds of The Bachelor and saving everyone an hour from having to watch it. Because this is the moment that you need to know. Here's Let's Bachelor listen. Ben tap dancing. You told two women you're in love with them. <laughs> yeah, I did. Um... Do you realize what a mess you're in? <laughs> Thanks. Uh, <laughs> I never thought that that's where my heart would go. You know, I think you compartmentalize so well. You made everybody feel as if they were the only one there that day. And you kind of just lost yourself in those moments, and you went with it. You went with Can your you pause it for a second, please? Women. Please yes. pause it. Yeah. <laughs> you don't compartmentalize. You're a liar. You're a piece <laughs> of crap, lying <laughs> sack of garbage. That's not compartmentalizing. Don't soften it. You lie to women's faces he be to make them with love you. Them? Yeah. <laughs> You're doing Couldn't the same he? goddamn yeah. thing. He's on his You're side. You're doing the same oh. thing. I love you. No, I love you. No, I love you. They make movies about it for Christ's sake. Oh, he Come has on. more dancing to do. Hold on. Yeah. I love you. You know, as we talked at the very beginning of this, mm-hmm. the only way to do it is to compartmentalize each relationship. Because yeah. if you keep, if you start grouping or comparing, um, that's not fair to the women involved. And it's no, no, me no, out no. Stop again. Expect. Stop no, it. Sorry. Stop. The, no. the, the only tape. way to do it is to lie to all the you women. Can't whether you them. love. 
bundle them or not. No. You, you can't bundle them like cable. Mike. <laughs> Would you like direct TV with that? You I'm have sorry. to compartmentalize or you don't get to put it in. That's the deal. <laughs> That's the little rule at the bachelor. Yay, All right, I want to close with this. Hadn't planned on it, but did you see the naked woman dancing on the truck in Houston yesterday? I did, yes. The lady who called 911 was named Pearl. Can I ask this question? Did yeah. anybody see it uh, non-pixelated? I did not see it non-pixelated. <laughs> I didn't see it non-pixelated. <laughs> no. no. Did that make me... A bad person. Well, you for, want to get to the truth. Yeah. I wanted to see what the body yes. really looked like. Yeah. She was standing up on the truck. Did you compartmentalize? <laughs> I compartmentalized that. That was the evil mic. All right. Well, the lady who called 911 <laughs> to report this poor sick lady was named Pearly Ward, and we tracked her down, Mike. Oh, no. Here's <laughs> Pearly Ward talking about this poor woman dancing on a truck in Houston. Sad, really. I said, oh, my goodness. This lady has taken her clothes off. That's the most horrific thing I've ever seen, and I'll be 68 in two days. And I say, in the name of Jesus, I bless you and hope things will be okay for you. That was a miracle. That was a miracle. She could have killed herself and someone else. And I applaud those, those men because they went through something this morning. They sure did, Pearly. <laughs> they sure did. That's wow. your magic audio ball. <laughs> have a great Tuesday, everybody. Is that it, Rob? That's all, Mike. That's that all is we have. Okay. Good time. This is been another Mike O'Mara show is coming gone. Good time. Be sure and join us again for more fun and more thrills at Mike O'Mara show. Pearly. <laughs> That's Pearly Ward. If you want to correspond with the Mike O'Mara Show, with a letter and a package, send it to TMOS Box 2796, Leesburg, Virginia, 20177. To get your message or birthday request into the mailbag, send it to Rob with two Bs at MikeOmeraShow.com. And uh, support our show, please. Thank Buy you. our bonus content. Go through our Amazon page. Let me know the advertisers that you're patronizing. All that stuff is really good. For Rob Spiewak, Oscar Santana, and our good friend Pearly, Mike O'Mara <laughs> saying so long, everybody. So long. Ciao, ciao. Mike O'Mara, Radio Entertainment. <laughs>